on an early spring morning in 1849, an enslaved black man named Henry Brown folded himself into a three-foot by two-foot wooden crate. 27 hours and 350 miles later, he arrived at the home of William Johnson, a Philadelphia barber who collaborated with the Underground Railroad, a network of people, safe houses, and routes that guided enslaved people. With the help of James C.A. Smith, a free black man, and a sympathetic white shoemaker named Samuel A. Smith, no relation, Brown devised a plan to have himself shipped in a box to a free state by the Adams Express Company, known for its confidentiality and efficiency. Brown paid out of his savings of $166 to Samuel Smith. Smith went to Philadelphia to consult members of the Pennsylvania Anti-Slavery Society on how to accomplish the escape, meeting with Minister James Miller McKim, William Still, and Cyrus Burley. He corresponded with them to work out the details after returning to Rich. My mind has grown under tortures which I believe will never be related, because language is inadequate to express them. But my mind has grown under tortures which I believe will never be related, because language is inadequate to express them. But those know them who have them to endure. The whip, the cowskin, the gallows, the stocks, the paddle, the prison, the perversion of the stomach, although bloody and barbarous in their nature, have no comparison with those internal pangs which are felt by the soul when the hand of the merciless tyrant plucks from one's bosom the object of one's ripened affections, and the darlings who in requiring parental care confer the sweet sensations of parental bliss. I freely admit I have enjoyed my full share of all those blessings which fall to the lot of a slave's existence.